balls all over the field. Shit. Come on, bruh. Blue over here worried about throwing hands. They not even connecting the hands. Blue is worried about throwing hands. They connecting no dots at all. What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another banger for y'all, man. So look. We got the most brutal sport in the world. Calcio, Storico, Fiorentino. About to run this up one time for the one time, man. And uh, this is brought to us by Rugby Pass. Y'all already know I rock with them. Somebody, somebody called me out because I said I like their videos. And they're like, oh, why well, you not subscribe? I subscribe. I really do rock with their videos. I am subscribed now. Stop playing with me. But um, look, I reacted to Calcio Storico, I think, two or three times before. But they were more like highlight videos, quick videos. They didn't really... Uh, I think maybe one of them went a little bit in depth. But I scrubbed through this, and this looked a little different than the other videos I reacted to before. So we're going to check this out again um, and see what's going on with this one. It looks like a real deep dive. So let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on. If you guys got more videos, you know what to do. Get at me in the comments. Hit that like button. Go smash that and subscribe. Let's get to it. It's already kicked off that. Sport is crazy. Who was it? Ain't even kicked off yet and someone's been dropped. Coming from Los Angeles, I, I think of Crips and Bloods immediately. <laughs> but the Italian versions, you know what I'm saying? I think Crip Blood immediately. Except this Italian version, you know what I mean? That's kind of sure. The Azuri have gone off. But this is happening. This is this is normal. This is this is Calcio Storica. This is normal. Look, a bunch of tattooed up dudes in red and blue fighting each other. That's some gang shit. They should make all the gangs in the world, Crips and Bloods, just play this sport Welcome right here. To Florence. Let's be honest. Cradle of the Renaissance. This world famous Tuscan marvel is home to some of the finest art and culture that Europe has to offer. But Florence isn't just for the scholars and the academics, because once a year, when spring gives way to summer and the heat begins to swelter, the four districts of Florence go to battle in a centuries-old custom that combines mixed martial arts with contact sports. Once described by King Henry III of France as too small to be a real war, but too cruel be a game. Damn. The annual tradition pits Florentine against Florentine and is not for the paint department. My name is Max Lahey and this is Calcio Storica. of kin we're in the final days of june and it's a balmy 36 degrees here in florence each year the city's four districts or quartieri take part in a gladiatorial style football match known as calcio storica <laughs> in the semi-finals earlier this month the azuri overcame the blanchi and the rossi defeated the verti that means this weekend's grand final will see the Azuri and the Rossi go to battle in a no-holds-barred, winner-takes-all dogfight. In a no-holds-barred... Hey, look, hey, hey, man, she kind of yanked up. It's a little bread basket. Oh, okay, all right, I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. A little bread ba... All right, I'm going to chill. chill. Winner-takes-all <laughs> dogfight. <laughs> Filippo Giovanelli is perhaps the best-known voice in Calcio Storico circles. Filippo has been the field master, master of the parade, and the stadium announcer for the past 12 years. His passion and love for the traditional competition is unparalleled around Florence. So for strangers to Calcio Storico, could you briefly convey how the game works? Il gioco si gioca normalmente, si è sempre giocato in Piazza Santa Croce. Questo è importantissimo perché è la piazza deputata al gioco del calcio. 
Si gioca tra due squadre diverse, con colori diversi, che si affrontano per portare la palla alla fine del campo avversario. Chi difende, difende con qualsiasi mezzo, chi attacca altrettanto con qualsiasi mezzo. Ecco perché il gioco è così violento, ci sono pochissime regole e quello che succede in campo rimane nei 50 minuti di partita che eh, si svolge in Piazza Santa Croce. The first rule of counter historical is there is almost no rules. Fantastic. Poi ci sono delle cose che non si possono dire. Oh wow, ok. Ci sono state delle partite che hanno avuto degli esiti non positivi e quando il calcio storico era un match, una partita che eh, non aveva veramente una caratteristica nemmeno sportiva, era soltanto violenza. E questi aspetti non hanno permesso di terminare i tornei e eh, ad esempio la polizia è entrata in campo per derimere alcune eh, dispute. That makes perfect sense though. Like I wouldn't be surprised if you got some matches where like dudes are on the verge of, you know, I don't know, maybe death. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like because there's no holds bar, there is no rules, it's all out. There ain't no, you know, you get knocked down, there's a, a 10 second count with the referee stopping everything. You know, it's just we going, we going, we going. You don't know what what potential hit, what punch, this, that, or the third. Uh, I don't know if they're allowed kicking, but you don't know, like, what that may do to somebody. I've seen dudes get picked up and slammed. Like, <laughs> like the shit is really crazy, dog. And I wouldn't be surprised, like, if in some matches it just goes all the way haywire, just out of pocket. We're not even playing a game no more. We just brawling at this point. Like, nobody even scoring. The ball's in the corner. We all just throwing hands. We throwing haymakers, bow, bow. The ball's in the corner. Nobody picking it up. I, I'm not surprised if it, if that happens more often than you think. It's a lot of From discipline. From the outside looking in, Calcio Storica resembles the chaotic melee, justified only by the presence of a football in the vicinity of the violence. For a more educational insight into the game and its rules, we're going to be sitting down with one of the referees for this year's final. Ciao Luca. Ciao Max. In Couch Historico, it doesn't look to me like there are a lot of rules. What are the main rules of the game? Eddie. Oh, yeah. Very good. It's kind of filled like this. Lo scopo del gioco è quello di fare caccia e si gioca 27 contro 27. What are the main tactics? I calcianti si dispongono in tre linee. Questi sono i portieri, no? Questi sono una linea che poi provvederà a andare avanti no? e a cercare di fare, di fare caccia mentre invece questa qui no? è quella che sta praticamente al fronte dove ci sono i maggiori eh, scontri, duelli dove praticamente i calcianti si affrontano con eh, le loro alti marziali MMA, box e lì si confrontano ed è la tattica All right, so they do. Bro gave him a good little leg kick, low MMA, kick. Box. E lì... <laughs> Look at this shit, fool. Like... Um, <laughs> le loro alti... Dog, squaring up. They squaring up. They squaring up. They squaring up. He about to square up. He squaring up with somebody over here. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's two, four, six, eight, ten dudes. That's ten dudes lined up. Let's get it. Like, <laughs> I'm about to knock your head off, homie. That's a different type of time, bro. Marziali, MMA, box. No gloves, nothing. Contano, ed è la tattica quella lì di fermare più coppie possibili e cercare, no, il varco per fare, poi andare a fare caccia. What are these men allowed to do to these men in terms of, like, how do you take out another player? What are you allowed to do? Non posso colpire l'avversario, no? Da dietro. Non posso colpire l'avversario lateralmente, se lui non mi vede. E non posso placcare sopra la cintura da dietro. Queste sono le, diciamo, le regole 
Vasile. Okay, so the rules are you can't hit somebody from behind. I, I like that one. Because imagine somebody behind is in front of you and they can't see and you just bow right in the back of their head. They could die. For real, for real. So I like that. No hitting from the side. And no hitting people if they can't see you. Um, all right, no tackling above the waist from behind, but you can go at the legs. So, at least they trying a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I really do like the no hitting from behind, like in the back of the head. I do, that's probably the biggest one. Like, yeah, that's a good rule right there. I also think they should probably have a rule like no kicking in the face or no kicking in the head. If somebody's down, you can't just run up and soccer kick them, bow, and they straighten them and they dome, like. I feel like they should probably like make a rule for that, but whatever, dog. What happens if a player is injured? Are there substitutes? Sia per gli infortuni che per le espulsioni non sono previste sostituzioni. End of the game is essentially like chess. It's last man standing. How good battle royale! Like wow. Fight to the death. Every year, gladiator. The traditional event, a seven thousand seat stadium, is constructed in the middle of the Piazza de Santa Croce. Mate, that is solid. <laughs> if you get hit, knocked out like some of these boys are aiming to do, and hit that deck, Ooh. oh, I'd hate to play any kind of rugby on this. Oh, you should see the Colosseum Spaniard. Wow. Nutty. The goal. Runs the whole length of the field. The attack throws the ball in here, one catcher. However, if they miss and throw it over, half a catcher goes to the other team. But if a goalkeeper bats the ball over, then the attack gets half a catcher. And then if it lands in the bishop's tent, nothing, nothing happens, ball's in play. It might not look like much right now, but come Saturday, there will be violence. Absolute pandemonium in the stands and on the sands. Of course, the most important participants in this grand final are the two teams putting their lives and limbs on the line, the Azuri and the Rossi. Bulldogs, I like that logo. That's so hard. the training That's ground hard. of the Azuri. They represent the Santa Croce Quartiere of Florence. They got that dog in them. <laughs> this particular Quartiere, the Azuri, have been the most successful over the past 30 years, and they're going for a free pee as they've won the last two. Given the physical demands of the competition, it's no surprise that some of the Azuri's top players have cut their teeth in other sports, including boxer Paolo Bologna, Mixed martial artist Vani Moschella and Rugby Sevens representative Jobel de Castro. What got you into Couch Historico? When I was younger, I played rugby. I like that we got into that. Because the other videos I've watched, they try to make it out like these dudes is just dudes who just work daily jobs, right? Like these dudes just be working. This dude's a teacher. This dude is a, 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 a sports coach. This dude is an engineer. This motherfucker's a mathematician. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how they was trying to make it out in the other videos I was watching. But in my head, I'm like, nah, some of these dudes got to be real sports players. Some of these dudes got to be boxers, uh, mixed martial artists. Like, these dudes aren't just workers and just casual working dudes that just decide to play a sport because they played fucking some random shit in high school. Like, these dudes, I'm looking at them like, these dudes... Maybe some ex-convicts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, these dudes ain't just regular guys who work regular day jobs. These dudes got experience in a lot of different, like, types of sports. So I'm glad they kind of brought that up on this one. I met um, a, rugby guy, a rugby guy who also played for the Azuri, oh, and okay. they just, he, he just involved me here. How does it compare to rugby? Uh, it's totally different. Yeah. Totally different. Uh, the emotion. The fear, that fear, the fear. Uh, transforming your motivation to survive uh, during the game, 
and also to achieve the winning, uh, the win of, uh, of the team. So you're essentially MMA athlete with sort of the rugby ball skills. Is there like, is there a lot of passing of the ball? There's a lot of uh, game strategy, so mm. passing, uh, also the li running line or something like that. So there's a lot of game now. What do your family think about you participating? Uh, uh, this is a funny thing that uh, the first game that I played in 2015, uh, I didn't say anything to my family. To my family, just just um, I'm going to rugby. You know, just uh, and I debut for, for my birthday, so I, ju I just go doing some rugby stuff, something okay. like that. And then after when I go back to home, I say, "Oh, mom, that I, I just play uh, a game for. Uh, I, I just do the, my my debut in Catcher Soil." What are you doing, you're mad. <laughs> do your family ever try and stop you from? Yeah, of course. Every for year. sure. Oh, every year every they year, stop you. Every year, I just say, "Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave." And then uh, the months pass, and then uh, in December I just go go again back go to training. Again, yeah. What's the what's the worst injuries you've sort of um, seen on the field or had? Maybe the knockouts uh, from behind. <laughs> oh, so the the ones from behind happen all yeah, the time. Yeah, the behind or maybe the the ACL too. Well, the ACLs go a lot, do they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the shoulder uh, fracture, ribs fracture. Mate, thanks so much. Really appreciate much. it. Thank Good luck on much. Saturday. Thank you. I'll be much. watching. Can't wait. <laughs> Damn, they train. So that means he said he trains in December. So that means they train and they said this happens between spring and summer. So that means they're training for like at least three to five months to play one game. It's the day of the grand final. And while the Rossi team are hard at work preparing for the coach. What I hope, I think he's about to get into it, but I definitely want to get into the coaches. Because how do you even coach this? What? <laughs> like... I think I have my own thoughts and processes on it, but I want to hear from the coaches. Like, how do you set up a team and coach this team? And what's your game plan, really? Like, how do you even develop one? In battle, I was lucky enough to be invited to their training ground to experience their preparations ahead of the game. Yeah, let's see it. Let's see it. The players are going through pre-game emotions right now, so we've managed to get hold of Italy rugby representative and lifelong Rossi fan in Niccolo Canone. I see you're donning, repping the Rossi. Uh, could you give a little bit of background to your sort of uh, following for Calcio Storica? I started to, to support my, my team since I was 10 years old. For me, it's very important this because I'm from Florence. I love Florence. I love every culture of Florence. I have love everything of Florence. And uh, maybe one day after rugby, I want to represent my team, my color, with uh, in, in Piazza Santa Croce. Well, uh, what would a rugby player bring to Calcio Historica? I think my skills one day, uh, ball carry and tackle. I have to, to learn the, the boxing, so maybe yeah, some boxing, because you have uh, <laughs> defense yourself, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. So you're very, are you like childhood friends with a lot of the Rossi team? Yeah. Like they're all guys you grew up with? Yeah. Oh wow, that must be very special for you watching them today. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Every, every time I cry, because uh, you see the color. Yo, that looks sound, lit. Uh, <laughs> the Holy body shit. language of the people inside, uh, in, uh, in the center of Florence is, uh, is incredible. The mental preparation is, is the key. If you if you see the, the eyes of the, the boys are uh, oh, yeah, I was watching. very you can feel the energy yeah, yeah you can feel that they're like very on edge yeah it's ready to explode yeah <laughs> ready to get to yeah. Yeah. Set off. yeah yo this is some real gladiator shit dog that like it got me feeling like shit let's go let me get my blue on let me go get my blue on real quick you know what I mean like let's go. Let's run it up, dog. Shit. Got the little sand in the field, the, the people, dog. We about to squabble, we about to squabble. Like, oh, this is about to go crazy. Yeah. 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 Squad up.
we're an hour out from kickoff now. We've got faces in all the windows surrounding the plaza, but at either end of the Sabione, we have the blue and the red. Too much emotional tension between the two fans. And now we're just waiting to take our seats and I ain't gonna lie, you know, the red, the red, you know, the red brigade looks a little bit more intimidating. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I'm, I'm for the blues on this one. I'm for the blues, man. Gage in the spectacle. On. So right now it's obviously very quiet. I was thinking, why is it so quiet here? We're, we're only an hour out, but most of the crowd, probably like 10,000 fans, are going to be following the parade that's going around the city. Mad. So this is where we'll be watching the match. I'm situated, as far as I can tell, with the, with the Rossi, which is good because I had torn loyalties as I've been in both camps so far, but after I was wined and dined by Niccolo, I feel as though I have to support the Rossi. Aw, oh, man, what, man, you sound like a bad You sound like a little Instagram girl, man. Got wined and dined and all that. Now you a fan of the red, man. You know you want to rock with the blue. Put a little bit of put a little bit of rose in your system and look look what you got going. <laughs> uh, I'm just playing around, y'all. <laughs> Like, you know what's fire about this, bro? Like, even the fans, right? Like, they all got they blue on, they all got they blue on, they got they red, they got they red. It's like, even the fans is all the way locked in, bro. Like, all the way, like, we doing this, we gonna do it at a million percent. Like, I'm coming all red with the shirt on. Like, what you talking about? I love it. I love to see it. Welcome to hell. Right in front of the house of God. Love it. Love it. That's fire. <laughs> that is fire. Welcome to hell right in front of the church. This is different. Some boy a little over aroused by the whole occasion. It's got to some people. It's bubbled over and ain't even kicked off yet. And someone's been dropped. Damn, he said bam. And that's the homie in the blue. Let's go. Red card. Yeah. Rosa. Bella Rosa. Rogue Ricardo. Yeah, go out. So one red card for Rosa. One of the Rosa boys. The whole thing overstimulated him and he's um he's done a cheap shot on one of the Azuri. And then what's happened is the Azuri have gone off and it's sort of a revolt to hold the game hostage to make the ref make a decision. And now um the Rossi are down one player before the game's even started. Oh my god, this is gonna be so spicy. We've got 50 minutes of this. The game is on. Oh shit! See what they're trying to do, like over on the left side of the field from us. You can see guys just trying to win position, keep guys on the floor. Like you can. See like it, it's 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 a little too much mountain going on for me, dog. Like you know, 
this he mounted up, mounted, 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 mounted. Like it's a lot of mounting going on. A little too much for me, dog. That's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty. That's twenty-two. That's like half the players on the field, damn near. Just getting mounted. <laughs> Hell no, I like get your ass up off me, dog. Get your ass up off me, bro. <laughs> See guys just trying to win yeah, position, no. keep guys on the floor. Like literally, one of them's just sitting in full mount and just look, being admiring his work, just sitting on one of the Rossi. <laughs> First goal to Rossi. Massive, massive scuffle for the ball. And now they've swapped ends, but there's still brawls all over the field. Shit. Come on, bruh. Blue over here worried about throwing hands. They not even connecting the hands. Blue is worried about throwing hands. They connected no dots at all. They need to be running. Where the Rugby Sevens guy at? He need to get his ass running. <laughs> Utilize your skill set, my boy. Where you at? He got clocked. Missouri have gone off now, so it's 26 on 26. Man, this is absolute carnage. Red killing them, man. Red killing them. It's a, it's a rat. It's a rat. So it's become quite the bloodbath, figuratively Woo! and quite literally, if you're a Rossa supporter. They are dominating the scoreboard 6 1 so far. It's looking pretty comprehensive. They, they killing them. All right, we back, man. These dudes is getting murked, bro. The Azuri, man, we got to figure something out, dog. It's a wrap. It's game over. Hey. Good game. Good game. That's the ball game. Russell win. That was very visceral. And now pitch invasion. Oh, that is special, isn't it? Welcome to hell. I'm on the field now with the Ross of Faithful. And I can honestly say my experience with Calcio Storico has been unbelievable. I've met some beautiful people. I've got to see some holistic violence in the best kind of way. And I've learned a lot about Florentine life. Calcio Storico, out. Dog, I would definitely go watch this shit. Don't let me get money, bro. I'm pulling up. Yeah, don't let me get no money, dog. Don't let my YouTube go all the way up, dog. I'm gonna, I'll do a whole video pulling up to this.
I ain't gonna lie, bro. Don't let my YouTube go up because I'm gonna do a lot of videos pulling up to a lot of shit across in the world. <laughs> in the world, my boy. I'm not playing with you. Um, that's it, though. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Y'all let me know what you think about the sport. Um, if you enjoy it, if you watch it, if you're a fan, if you're Italian, what you think of it, you know, like, let me know in the comments. Get at me in more videos to react to. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone. See y'all next time. Peace.